What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another YouTube. And listen, I know I've been out. I I, I didn't uh, quite get the update quick enough because the, the episode's been out. But hey, I'm here. Here, had to have some stuff to get, take care of. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the Dima episodes and everything. This second episode was really good. And I'm, I'm going to say this and be completely honest. This is the best storytelling and even better storytelling than Super started. Um, I think because Super Set had such a weird start, especially just retelling all the movies and stuff like that. We didn't see anything original until be you know the middle but still i am loving the setup already the first two episodes seem packed with information that we have to get into so let's go ahead and get on into it first off uh we get to see the aftermath of everything basically we get to see what happened to goku and the others as they get turned into kids and so uh one of, one of the first things i really i really want to highlight is um the the wish membership that Shenron has right now like dude dude's like hey bro uh you're not one of the homies <laughs> i don't think you can get three wishes <laughs> it was it was actually the most it was i think it was the highlight of the show for me because it showed that Shenron uh it, it really does resemble the personality of his maker you know uh you know the mechanisms make them whatever and uh and so you know dende being who he is i think that that that's fair you know like you you just got here bro <laughs> you're not with us you're not with us you you gotta be one of them you gotta be one of them but anyway aside from that so he wishes for it and he realizes he can't get his third wish um and he even asks as neva or neva i think that's the namekian's Nem name yo how much power do you have like can you like re reverse this and this dude's like yo i there's only so much i can do like you you're not gonna get that much out of me big dog and so they end up doing what I thought they were gonna do, and they 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 kidnap Dende. They kid they kidnap my boy. All right, and he's uh not equipped to fight. Neither is Mr. Popo because everybody's like at the age of freaking seven or eight, uh, first first graders or whatever. And so, what what where do you go from here? So we switch on over and we get a glimpse of the party in the aftermath of what's going on. Krillin is still short. I don't even think they. I think you purposely. I think the animation or. Or even a writer, or even Toriyama, I think he purposely wrote him to be the same height. I think Krillin is legit the same height. I don't think he he, he he shrank. In my in my opinion, I may be exaggerating, but when he looks at everybody, he's like the first thing he says to Goku. It's funny. He's like, "What the heck?" I'm like, "You guys like?" Oh no, he says you go you go smaller. Sorry, but it was like for me in, in my brain, I'm like, "Nah, bro, you you you, you they grew taller than you. I ain't gonna lie. You, you they still a foot." <laughs> You still a foot, you still a foot smaller, but uh, Goku, you know, Goku and Gohan and Vegeta, not Gohan, but uh, Goku and uh, Vegeta, Android 18, Piccolo, um, they all get that dumbfounded look, and that's a classic TV show moment right there, uh, where you where you get the classic like everybody's surprised, like whoa, is this this is happening? This is what what what? And then and then Goku goes like whoa, and like like you know the whole you know that whole television trope. I, I like that they're bringing back. It really feels like like dragon ball like reinvented if that makes sense i feel like this is like i think that's why they wanted to do this um to bring him back as a kid because i think i think dragon ball at, at this point is old you know it's really old like it's really really old and a lot of people don't a lot of people that haven't seen it i say go back and watch it because it, it is short when it comes to seasons um it's not that as long it's not as long as dragon, dragon ball z but daima has potential to explore Think about it. Dra Dragon Ball the original explored a little bit of the demon realm with Demon King Piccolo, but they never went deep. So like the fact they're going back to the demon realm and 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 highlighting the Mechians and their powers still, that is real. That's that's per I, I don't know why people are comparing this to GT. I'm get I'm getting more Dragon Ball when you when you watch this. But anyway, getting on into this, you we get uh, the you know the the full opening is which I love so much. The, the, the screenshots and everything are just so nice to see how they cultivated the arts Bomo working with uh I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that might be a I actually don't know who that is but I, I'm assuming that might be somebody somebody she works with who's going to be a counterpart who might be like a Bomo of the demon realm or something or Glorio's version or of Bomo Bomo right um getting on into the audit the intro and everything yeah we get on into the first part where you know he asks for the wish or whatever and so now that they find out that, that they're kids or whatever uh they go back to the lookout and we see that mr popo is explaining everything and we find out officially that supreme kai 
is uh, or or Deg Degasu or something like that. That's his brother. That's his brother, which we already, we already know. We, we assumed, right? But that's De De Degasu's brother. They explain the situation. Goku's like, bro, we got to go get these guys right now. And, you know, they're saying like, yo, we can't just time travel to the, 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 the demon realm. We need a special spaceship. And then he brings out this busted little spaceship. At first, I thought it was the time patrol spaceship that uh, Trunks came in, which is funny because it had the same... You know uh mold and stuff on it but that was because it was on the supreme kai's world and uh it was being destroyed by the battle of boo when goku was fighting so with that being said he was like you know it doesn't work but goku's like yeah nah boma can fix that up easy they bring boma in and boma says yeah i can fix this up it's give me about five but i think it was i actually don't remember how many days it was a long time like about seven days or ten days or something like that something like that um and so everybody's like okay wow this is gonna take a minute and goku's like yo i hey they killed my guy then they I, we gonna have a problem <laughs> like and so he's like bro just chill you know we go you know, supreme guy's just like you know they, they might not kill him because we they, they need him for something right so now we get into the lore we get into the lore of what the demon Realm is because uh before they before that all of that happened they were explaining to supreme kai and supreme kai was saying like yeah like you have the demon king uh goma and then you have uh he he's like don't underestimate him he's very powerful all this stuff about the demon realm and stuff like uh expressing what ne neva can do uh in terms of powers and how um he was like the first oh that was the that was actually piccolo who explained that piccolo was actually like yo like this this namekian he the og basically like, like basically like that piccolo was like hey this guy right here bro he's the og that i that's the he got stuck down there and we ain't even we ain't even look for him but we, he a legend that's that's og you know what i'm saying so but when, when they explain the situation and everything that's when they try to get the spaceship and everything and so that, that's when everything happens and this is where i think another highlight of the show was was a real real callback because now goku's trying to get used to his body he's trying to get used to his balance and he's having trouble um using depth perception and all that good stuff um hitting the pillars and everything and so when you get to that part, you, he starts to go back to what he knows. Like I, I love this about Goku's character. He's like he just goes back to the fundamentals. He's like, bro, okay, I, I don't even know if my leg could reach, but I got something that could reach. And he pulls up his Nyobo or Nyobo. I, I, how do you say that freaking word? I, I the, the power pole. We the power pole. All right, we all know the little power pole that he uses back in old dragon ball he brings that back out because he go well first he goes to corin to see where it is because it was actually on top of the right on top of where the lookout was and then he went to kame's house because you know master roshi's feeling himself right now because he's all young and everything he's telling him call him a whole different alias and everything and so he's like where's my power pole bro and like um he's like i don't even remember what that is and the turtle's like looking at it and he's like looking at it hanging with freaking clothes on it and i think i believe either he or boma put that there because it looked like women's clothes but like so he finds it or whatever and he shows he shows it off to everybody he's like yo look what i got you know you know showing it off you know goku whatever and he starts whipping it or whatever and then boma's like this was a real special moment it kind of it really made me want to go to watch dragon ball again because it showed it was like boma was like oh you oh you found it and they had that face-to-face -face moment where it was just like yo like this is a memory like this is og og this is drag up like bro that's like the first thing you see when, you know what i'm saying like that's it just was a great callback and so i love what they did right there just a splash of life to give us that old dragon ball-esque and so they get on into trying to fix it fixing the ship because this is like two days later by the way and then something surprising does happen some another spaceship pulls up and in this spaceship it's it's, it's, a, diff, it's a different person and I mean, I guess everybody already assumed this. I thought I kind of was the only one who said this, but Glorio, who is the the new one, um, new character who just popped in, resembles Mira. If you guys played Xenoverse Two at least, or if you guys actually know where he comes from, he was written in another uh, iteration. I forgot what what the uh, the type of media it was, but it wasn't just Xenoverse that had him in here. Uh, but Mira and Toa. So I was thinking Mira Toss. He looks just like Mira. Tell tell me he don't. Tell me he don't. So with that being said, I think that they were really going into the Demon Realm to really bring out a whole new world of characters, and it's really going to it's going to spark up uh, a lot of I guess I think it's going to spark up a lot more lore than we thought. Like we always thought, like Dragon Ball. Okay, well how how much lore can Dragon Ball? We already had our gods and, and, and Ultra Instinct and now Ultra Ingo and stuff like that. What? How far can we go? How far can we go? And they're just going to go down. They're just going to go deeper, right? Literally. So um, with that being said. He comes in. He says, hey, bro, you need to come fight this king. You got to come fight this guy um, because I was sent here 
to, to do that. That was my job. So you got to come with me, basically, like like some street secret agent type. And Goku's like, I'm down because I got to go there anyway. You feel what I'm saying? I'm down. And then Supreme Guy's like, well, you know, I'm going to go too because he's like, you gotta, I need to see because I, I have more knowledge than you and everybody in the demon world, whatever, 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 whatever. So they are a little cautious because I, me, I don't really trust them right now. I don't know what his intentions are, but they are a little cautious. They, they don't know what's going on, but they're trusting it anyway. And so they hop, you know, because he's in a new spaceship that works. And then Boma goes over and she, and you know, he, she says, hey, can, can I see that real quick? You know, let me, let me just see what's going on right here. And she just like scans it and just like, okay, cool. This this is going to be done in a shorter time. Yeah, y'all be, be out here by tomorrow type. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be out here by tomorrow. Like just, she's just a genius. You know what I'm saying? So then Vegeta you know, wants to go to, and so does everybody else. But, you know, they're saying, nah, wait, come with the next crew type. And um, so... Goku embarks on his next adventure, and I, for me, I'm kind of, I'm scared, not scared, but like, I'm nervous in a way, I'm not nervous in a bad way, but they set this up so well that we have no idea what's going to happen, and I just feel like the action, and I feel like it's going to get deeper than we think. We, I feel like making it, uh, making them kids was a bit of like a, how do you say, like a, I don't know, putting the putting like some glasses over our eyes i don't know how the saying goes like just kind of whiffing us a little bit because i think there's gonna be some serious plot points that come with this i really do i feel like there's gonna go it's gonna go real deep i think the action is gonna be real crazy i feel like the stakes are gonna be high we might get some main characters dying that's i'm literally that's the vibe i'm getting from this guys because it, you set something up and it seems so lighthearted, but it's like that's too this just seems to you know what i'm saying everybody you know what I'm saying? I don't know. This, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think on that specific plot, that specific point. Do you think this is going to get darker, especially dealing with, dealing with the demon realm? Or do you think this is going to be kept lighthearted? Let me know. But I appreciate you guys. This is the Adima after show. I'm going to call it. <laughs> uh, this is episode two. So this is just me talking in raw format about the game. Uh, no edits, no cuts or anything. Throw up some uh, gameplay from Sparking Zero, of course. Uh, I got the Daima gameplay. I might even do Xenoverse when it comes out. And um, uh, even Kakarot gameplay for Daima and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed all that. And my review for this episode is definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. That is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 episode. Because even if it had no, no, no action, that is how you create and set up a story. Tell the story and splash some life into it. Make your nostalgia apparent. But still make your, your new story known that this is still going on a different path. It was a excellent second episode. I was locked in the entire time. I have not been locked in. I have been I have not been that locked in into an episode of Dragon Ball in a long time. And I rewatch Dragon Ball a lot. And sometimes I'm just watching it, you know, back and forth. But the, I was I'm locked in reading all the subtitles and everything, pausing and really getting to know this show because I feel like it's gonna be everybody. I don't know if everybody's still hating on it, but it, it's. This, this look like some heat. Like, I, I, if y'all see the storytelling, if you think this episode, if I think this episode is 10 out of 10, I feel like the other episodes are going to be very, very high up on my list. So I, I think I'm going to have some very, very high critiques for the show. But I know that action is going to be crazy. I know the third episode is going to be great. But I do think this episode right here is a 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And you can also more Dragon Ball Dima content. Peace.